Oh. Lord. Okay. Lord, Lord, Lord. Make way, people. Holes and stuff in here. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, beauties and girls. We are back with another video. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And if you're new, welcome. You are family. After one time, you are family. Yes. Thank you, OGs, for coming back more for more and more. Yes. Today we are talking about empties project 250 because we amp the up. We up the amp. Yeah, we upped the amp and we said that we were going to do 250 for the year. We're already at, I want to say, I will leave it all right over here because I want to say it's 115 or 118. I can't remember which one, but I think, I think we're getting close. We're getting close. This is like April, some of May. So we're going to call this April, May empties. I want to get through this because my husband's like, girl, girl, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. We got to recycle this stuff, okay? And he's like, I want this. Oh, no, we got to get this out the room. What is this? What? What is this pile? An empty pile. Empty this out of here. And he almost emptied out my empties and I was just like, Boyfriend, don't, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it, baby. 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 I got some makeup. I got skincare and I got hair stuff. So, yeah. Prenatal. No, I'm not pregnant. But it's after the baby. You know, you're supposed to use, uh, the doctor told me at least two years after post baby, you should still be taking these. And these are my favorite. Now these are the prenatal folic acid multivitamin gummy with DHA in it, and it's adult vitamins. Yes, so got two of those. I'm just gonna, let me go through the body stuff first, and then um, I'll go through hair. This is the cashmere glow through with, um, by Bath and Body Works. I love this. This smells so good. I think I have one more left of this. Okay, this is gonna be a repurchase. I love this. That reminded me that I need to do like my hygiene video, which I haven't done. Okay. Another Bath and Body Works, Pink Chiffon. Pink Chiffon is the OG to me. Okay, I love this. I repurchased it. I think I have two more left. Yes. I have the Bake Shop Butter Lemon Cake Hair and Body Butter. Love this. So sad that this company is no longer ex in ex existence. Yes. Like, I can't even say that because I'm, 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 I'm feeling some kind of way about it. It smells so good, <gasps> but I'm so hurt. Hand food. Oh, I'm supposed to let y'all know. Either I'm going to toss it or I'm going to floss it. Toss me. Bye-bye. Or floss me. I shall buy it again. Why did I get biblical? I shall. I shall buy it to get. I shall. Hand food by um, Soap and Glory. I love. This is my favorite hand cream. Affordable hand cream. Because I do have some shishi foo foo bougie hand creams that I do like. But I do like the hand food. This is so good. It smells so good. It's like so good and it's not greasy there's a difference between a hand cream and a body cream don't use a body cream for your hand cream unless you want greasy hands you want a nice thick that's going to coat your hands and take care of your hands you know don't have all of this plump and nice and your decolletage your decolletage you know and your neck and your face looking so young and then you have like raisins for hands we, no no <laughs> This is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Yes, I love this, but I don't know. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. Why am I, what am I questioning about this? Yes, Shea Moisture, I love you. You repent it, okay? And I forgive you. So I am going to buy this and it's not because of the controversy. I was trying to figure out, I have other stuff that I really like besides Shea Moisture, but nothing beats the Shea Moisture and the uh, gel souffle mix. I have that. That's my favorite DIY like little concoction that I do for my hair and I really do love that. So yes, I would be repurchasing that. The Kinky Curly uh, Curling Custard. Y'all see it's a little bit still in here. It's because my hair does not agree with this anymore. So I'm considering this an empty and you'll probably see it in a products I regret buying currently. And you know what? See, that's certain things. That's why I need to explain myself. You know what I'm saying? But this is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. And yes, just got a little bit in there. Don't y'all get mad. Because this is stuff is expensive. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, 
it's eight ounces I do have a 16 ounce yes I do but I'm gonna be giving this to my sister so yeah that one's gonna be empty though we don't consider that one empty Woo! oh geez I'm out of them <laughs> this is oh wait a minute oh snap wait a minute see that's why I like that they're still soft okay mm -mm, mm -mm. it's a little bit in here too one more use one more use you know how you beat that bottle down you know what I need? What I've started doing with these are is putting water in here and then pouring this in my spray bottle and using it as a, like a leave-in conditioner. That's what I shall do. But we'll still consider it a like empty just because we'll consider both of these empties because once this week, these will be gone. This is the Bacura Beauty Silk and Honey Latte Detangling Hair Milk and Nectarine Vanilla Yes Lawn. This is amazing. This is glycerin free. It's so good. And um, I picked it up on a sale. Like, pick up Bacura on sale. They're the bomb. Camille Rose Naturals. This is the Soy Licious Curl Enhancing Conditioner. I use this as a deep conditioner because it has the soy in it. Since I'm washing my hair twice a week, um, I use this. I usually always use a deep, deep conditioner, one with heat. And this one is when I'm in the shower and I'm being lazy, but I still want like a punch of strength in my hair because since it's fine and thin and brittle and everything. This is the one that, um, <laughs> this is the curl enhancing conditioner that I really love. And it has jojoba oil and honey. So it's a really good quick fix. This is like my quick fix, you know? And those both are flosses. I'm sorry. Item that I am out of. This is the Bacura Beauty Whipped Custard Body Souffle in fig julep this was so great it is a winter scent that she came out with and i love it decadent creams love her stuff if you have not tried the pacura beauty uh what is that lemon beignet what's wrong with you mm. what's wrong with you really yes get it i'm telling you when your husband up on you call me just say thank you melissa Thank you, thank you boo, you helped me out. I want to make up, let's do makeup because that's stuff that I need to talk to y'all about, okay? This is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap and Rose. <gasps> this stuff, okay. Sunkiss Alba did a video with this as her body wash. I love it as my body wash. I like it as my wash. Okay smell like roses but it's not harmful you know i used to use that peppermint that peppermint got a bite <laughs> i'm just saying oh i've got a little i'm a little spunky today sometimes you guys ask me what my lip color is and i forget so i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna be talking about this but it's from a company called minted cosmetics and this is pretty in pink and they're cruelty free and vegan this is revlon nude attitude in the middle and i topped it with nars chelsea girls so there you go bada bang bada boom so this is my wash we're gonna talk about the we're gonna talk about my hygiene and what i talk about you know in the youth groups with the girls and stuff because you know we can't assume stuff we have to make sure people know okay you can use this as a feminine wash body wash i mean Okay, this is what I use it for. Let me not tell you what usual, usual. I use this for body wash, like a feminine wash, and I use this to wash my brushes. Talk about all purpose, oh God. And we love multi purpose products. But this is probably the fastest I've ever gone through a Castile soap. Number one, it is 16 ounces. I usually get the larger one, but this one is really, really good. So it's the family soap maker since 1858. And I like it because it has organic oils and it has some great stuff in here. It has uh, organic coconut oil and palm kernel oil, olive oil, citric acid, jojoba oil, tocopherol, and uh, hemp oil. It has some, and it has natural rose. This is natural rose fragrance. So I really do like this and I love it for a feminine wash. So yes, I shall be repurchasing this. Are you crossing? No, yes. I will be repurchasing this. This is the Mary Kay Freshen Botanicals Effects. This is works kind of like a, a toner. I will not be repurchasing this again just because I found some other things and I like that better. But this one, it was good. But I do have some other stuff that's better. 
This is the Dharma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. I love this. I have a backup already. And I don't want to say I have a backup. I have one because I'm trying to get away from backups. Okay. So this is the Dharma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask with Marine Algae and Activated Charcoal. You want to make sure when you have an, like charcoal that it's an active charcoal. Yes. Because that's what's going to pull out, pull out the toxins and everything. So this is, it purifies the pores and deeply rooted toxins. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's for normal to oily skin. If you have dry skin, this is probably not something for you. But I like the fact that Derma E actually puts it on the top of the container. So yeah, I love this. Yes, this is cruelty free and gluten free. So that's it, a repurchase, I already have it. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, love this. This is a repurchase. This um, this is not one of those, usually with mascaras, I have to wait until it's kind of like dried out to use it. With this, I don't. It kind of like the formula already is kind of like that great dried out type of thing. I really do like this. <sighs> yeah, this is probably one of my most repurchased items. I love this mascara. I actually went through, this is why I kind of like, I love Project Pan, but Project Pan, I've learned, is good for me and it's bad for me. Let me explain, Lo Silka. This, the reason why it's good is because it helps me get through products, but it's bad for me because sometimes I feel some kind of way about the pressure. And a lot of times if I just focus on it anyway and just come with it afterwards and not kind of like I set a mental goal rather than telling y'all, I don't know. It's kind of like the same thing with weight. When I say I'm going to do something, I just like to do it and then come back and talk about it. I don't know. Are all some of y'all like that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. I completed two brow pencils. Y'all remember last year, it took me forever to get through one. I got through two. This is the Ardell brow pencil. I want to say this is in dark brown but it looks just like, this is like a dupe to the brow definer. Brow definer is a little bit creamier, but I prefer mine to be a bit stiffer just because to me, it kind of like the hairs catch and rather than glide on and it doesn't give me that plasticky type of eyebrow look. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know what, y'all know what I'm saying? Anyway the best brow pencil at the drugstore this is the brow stylus definer by l'oreal and i have it in dark brunette this is so good i hate this sound i hate this sound one thing i i loathe is when you at the end it's something about it's not a it doesn't happen with lipstick you don't even care kind of like when it's mascara and you're on your last leg but when you're using your brow pencil and it runs out and you only did one eyebrow, Lord, you better pray that the other one. That's This is the only thing that I kind of like want backups on because you want to pray that that other brow pencil is going to match in color too. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to look like hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Both of, this is a, a floss for sure. I don't think I'm going to get this again. I do like the brow definer, but I'm thinking I still like the brow pencil being skinny like this just because it's to me it's it's easier to mimic the hairs with this with a large uh ergonomic ergonomic pencil that has that triangle it's it's hard to do that i don't know i haven't learned the skill yet so this is the pacifica coco pure makeup removing wipes this is a toss those were not good wipes. Those probably, hmm, next to the white and wild wipes that were like pretty horrible. That, those were bad. Yeah. Those are good for swatches, but not, no. There's so many worth the money. The Kirkland, y'all better, Costco, Costco wipes, they're nice and juicy and like wet. I don't want to say moist because it sounds weird, but it is and they're good. All right. No. Don't. Pacifica, no. Pacifica are, are not the best in wipes. Their other stuff is good, but not wipes. Okay. Another item. Oh, I finished a foundation, y'all. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. W5.5 is my shade. I'll let you look at it. So, because sometimes in the pan, you want to see. Mm, does it look like that, what it's going to be on my face? Cushions are harder to tell to me than bottles. Looking at the bottle and everything, but... 
W5.5, if you are NC42, this would probably work for you. And it's a bit, it's a tad bit darker, but this would be great even for the summer months. Definitely picking this up again. This is my favorite cushion next to Laneige. This is the neck. This, I love this luminosity that this one gives me. So I love it. Okay. So, um, oh, another makeup product. This is oh my goodness this is so so good when wow did its thing with this this is the luminati pin this is the highlighting this is called luminati the highlighting and concealing pin and this was in the shade a happy medium this is so so good use this and then the photo focus concealer what you won't even be able to tell that it is drugstore what 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 tell you this is so good it's a repurchase oh my goodness this is being slept on this is a such a underrated highlighting pen from drugstore it would only cost under five dollars this is pearly's this is the blue lotus seed mud mask exfoliant this was really good i think i have a larger size of this i of course got this from i think ipsy or yeah i think this was ipsy I love this uh, would I repurchase it I have so many mud masks I think there are some great ones from the drugstore but I really did like this one this kind of reminded me of I need to check the price but yes I would let me just go, go ahead and say it I would repurchase this because I love it reminds me of the glam glow one so you don't have to pay that much money and this is the same thing and yeah the exfoliant one you know the one you put on I want to say it's the orange one yes that's what this is the blue lotus and this one has some great stuff and it gently resurfaces detoxifies brightens tightens and smooths oh it does a whole bunch of stuff but it has a lot of night natural stuff and this perlice is a asian skincare company i really do like their items this is the nourish argan face nourish organic argan face serum this has rose hip and apricot it has a little bit more in this this is a floss toss okay this is something that I would floss but because I have so many oils right now and I'm not like obsessed crazy with this right now I'm going to toss it just because I have so many other ones but it's in rotation y'all it's in rotation so it's a toss floss. it's from fresh this is the sea berry moisturizing face oil this is bomb 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 I have another one one of these it is amazing it just gives it's not too oily you like you don't feel like an oil slick you don't feel like somebody wants to fry chicken on your face I can tell the difference I love these face oil work this is the origins clear improvement active charcoal mask I love this I love this mask I love this mask I love this mask from origins of course you can tell it is I don't even want to say it's a travel size I think this is like a sample this was so good yes I will be repurchasing that another thing from origins I am done with the high potency Nitamins mineral enriched renewal cream this is so amazing it smells like oranges it's amazing I'm still working on the oil oh I love the origins oil too Nitamins oil that's a night oil though I like some during the day but that's a night one I cleaned that out oh god this is amazing and a little bit goes a long way but this was a really good night cream for me Huge oil I told you I love it it's gone this is the this is the one that's I think like $15 this is the pure Mar maracuja oil this is amazing um, as a serum as a face oil putting in your makeup this one is also great um, I've put it on my lips before you can use it in your hair this is just so so good you can dry put it on your dry skin your neck your necklatage this if I have a breakout or something crazy like I, I feel texture on my skin this I can put it on at night by itself and it just goes back to normal I'm just this is from smooth naturals this is their cleanser it has glycolic acid in it and it is all about it. like this was a um a trial size for me and I love it I'm gonna talk about their skincare hold tight y'all hold tight I'm just I'm trying to get through some other stuff I just don't want to have a lot of skincare open you know this is the mega defense uh, SPF 45 from origins I really did like this I do have some SPF uh, SPFs that I love absolutely love I wasn't crazy about this so I'm gonna say that this is a toss it's a great product but I just I just have some that are better I don't like this one was a bit creamy and I like mine to be very very thin where I can like put on SPF moisturizers either it needs to be a creamy moisturizer or it needs to be thin where I can add my own 
and this was a bit creamy but it was still good it was still good this was a beauty this is a beauty sponge from be bella i really do like their beauty sponges um but not as i i have some not as good as the real techniques and everything this is deep cleansing oil i have talked about this so so much in favorites videos this is a pre-cleanse and a cleansing oil i love it because it duels as that it kind of does the same thing as purity from philosophy but better it's like purity times 10 how about that this is purity times 10 this is from a company called dhc this is such an amazing oil yes i already have it back up I'm gonna come I'm coming with my skincare favorites and y'all know this is gonna be my top I'm just letting you know right now this is gonna be one of my top five in the pre-cleanse and the cleanser section this science is the um, custom cover drops by cover FX I'm gonna say that I really like these okay the only thing that I don't like is that it gets look how messy it is at the top okay if cover FX just like eradicated that issue I'm game these are amazing I want to say that these are a floss for me that is just that it gets messy like look at that and yeah yeah it's a toss floss it's a it's something that I am like kind of dreading and I'm in the shade g50 by the way I'm sorry but I'm dreading giving, like tossing this because I feel like it dries out a lot quicker because of what's around. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But um, I really, really, really like these. It changes the pigmentation. Like putting this and my face and body by Makeup Forever together is a dream. Do you hear me? So good. So I'm kind of sad that I'm having to like... I think it dried out very quickly anyway those are my empties for uh april and may i'm so excited to be done with this now i can go put this in a recycle bin and i have just taken up less space in my bedroom i am going to as always put a uh, right here somewhere in this video i'm going to let you know what number we're on right now i think we're pretty close you guys we're gonna have to ump the amp and maybe it should be 250 items every quarter because I think we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this empties slash project pan 250 for 2017. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, love you.